Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes whilst editing a picture uh, you get areas which are completely white and sometimes it comes out of the camera like that where you've got a very bright scene, you photograph the sun, it's all completely white. That's known as whiteout, burn or clipped highlights. And in the, uh, the raw editor, the develop persona, there's a button at the top here called show clipped highlights. And if we click that, that will show it. In this picture, there's nothing clipped because we actually got a bunch of space up here. But if I turn up the exposure and keep going, so my histogram starts to bash into the end of the line there, when it catches up, here we go. Look at the processing there. It took a little bit of processing to get that going. Yeah, the process is falling behind. It'll get there. There we go. Sometimes you have to wait for it. Let's turn that up again and find the point. There you go. See this this area here where this goes red. This is this button here. So I turn that on and off. The red appears and disappears. And it shows things have gone over the line there, which is very useful for spotting that because often you can recover it. You can also go down the other way and go to black. The better way to do that is with the black point. And we can spot the black with this button here showing clipped shadows or blackout and increase the black here so that pushes things further and further back and here we've got blue see so we've got blue appearing down here here and here so this is showing that this histogram here has fallen off the edge and this is going completely black this is also quite useful both of these things are useful just for knowing where the darkest part of the image is because sometimes when you're doing things later this is where your problems will appear so it can be worth just doing this to check what we also get is kind of brown out which is between blackout and uh, whiteout which is where one or, or more or two of the colors have reached their limits but um, they are is not all three of them because when you get all three reaching the limits zero or two five five then you've got the white out and the black out but when you've got one of them that can still cause a problem particularly the colors start to change so if this is what the third one does let's put just that one on and actually what i've got down here already is a little bit of see the yellows coming through that means something is overexposed there and this it's down here it's in the shadows it's this blue yeah, I can see it on the on the there because this is not got if I restore that back to the beginning there you can't see it but when you're turning up the black point there's a point at which when the processor catches up it's, it goes yellow and that's our warning so I can put then the the clipped shadows on as well and what that will start to do is the blue will start to appear. See, as I'm going up here, the yellow is the clipped tones, as it says here, the brown out where not all the red, green and blue have got to zero. The blue areas are the, the clipped shadows where they've gone completely to zero. So again, this is warning and this is where color change will happen. So it's worth knowing these three all the time where they are and this can those simple tools will help you do that so when you're making adjustments you can actually turn those all three on and it'll you know, be very very visible when that's not working correctly so there you go that's how to use these three little tools here i'll often turn those on whilst i'm doing raw development uh, or you can use them as well to spot the darkest and, and brightest areas and deliberately push to get those points. Thank you very much for watching.